I'm Riley Harvey for VCN and this is the Thursday night PRT handicap race. We are back at it after a break for the summertime and the races are starting now every Thursday night 7pm thick and fast all the way through the winter season and I'm sure like tonight we'll start and see a good turnout of races. Um, see some regular races and some new races in the group already. Branded up with the RGT and Wahoo system. Branding, looking at a fast and furious race tonight. 20.91 kilometers, 21 kilometers for those who aren't picky. Um, and some really heavy hits of lumps in, in uh, elevation. It looks pretty flat when you're looking at that profile on the bottom of the screen there. Lots of green in there and not too much red there's usually quite a lot of sustained red in these events but um those red sections that are in there tonight are more severe than usual so expect the percentages to go up to the 20s and 25s when we're hitting those sections which will give the riders who are benefiting from the handicap who become lighter from the handicap a good chance to catch up they're really slow and it interrupt the tempo of the heavier riders and um make for an interesting race hopefully so, for those who aren't used to the handicap race the handicap race is set up in such a manner that you take your FTP your, your basically fitness you divide that FTP by 3.2 it'll give you your weight that you enter in the game so this is the only race on RGT where you're encouraged to fudge your weight if you are not a strong rider then you will end up being lighter and if you are a very strong rider, you'll end up being heavier than your real life weight. You're handicapped and it evens the playing field, means that the stronger riders um, have more of a challenge from the weaker riders and the weaker riders have got more of a chance of winning basically. So you can see on the front line here, Kurt Lang was one of the first riders to get in on the pen and <clears throat> But next to him, Will Usher there. Um, things have changed in RGT over the years. It did used to be an advantage to being the first rider on the line. Now we're starting now. Four seconds, one, go. Riders there flying straight off the front. Will Usher and Kurt there riding together. See Chris Bancras, regular rider, and Anton Wouters, another regular, taking the lead. Taylor, Black, Langridge, Unsworth, Murray, Hepner, Each Block, Willisher, and Stuart Ludlow forming an early group at the front here. Straight into a Hill. You can see these lead riders slowing, elevation takes effect. Corner through some of the foliage. Bubbles out slightly. Fine, Chris. Chris had a break from the PRT events over the summertime, doing a lot of it real life riding. He's back at it. Seeing uh, David Brukusen, who used to be in these events, challenging with Chris as well. Maybe he's further down the field. So we are live at VCN headquarters. If you're watching this on any of the platforms, and all of the chat comes back to one central chat window. On to your questions that uh, give you any information or zoom in on any riders that you're interested in as you see Cars in Ostroza now trying to bridge across to Chris Bancras Chris is going up a little bit of a gap on the chasing group here so I was saying earlier on that in the start pen there was 
there used to be an advantage to being on the, the lead. Um, as you're probably well aware, there is auto braking for the bikes in RGT. And if you were not on the front of the grid, stuck behind a slower rider, you could find that your start was hampered by the rider in front of you, who would basically just um, not get off the line as quick as you were and, and slow you down. Um, RGT, took the feedback from users about this issue and they um, changed it so that collision doesn't happen, that the, obviously the collision avoidance that creates the auto braking doesn't happen for the first 100 meters. You've got 100 meters to get clear of that start gate and congestion before that auto braking kicks in. Now, um, the throws are there just edging away from Bancrest. We get very high powers here as well. And Chris not losing the wheel and pulling it back, sitting in for the draft. Take this moment to drop back and just have a look who else is in the field. For the riders. Get out tonight. Finish throws on Bancrest there. And then we've got behind them, we've got Taylor. Kennedy, Kevin Unsworth, Stuart Ludlow, Ian Murs, Will Usher, Fox, Anton Wooter all forming this second group on the road and just tailing off the back of that group. Sutherland, each block just dropping off slightly there. far back behind. Strong. Black. Matt Jones and Kurt Lang together. Gomez. Stevens. Salotti, Louvre, a little bit further down the road there we've got Tom Smith, another rider, through the box now. Usher. Very regular rider for our Thursday night handicap races. Oh, is that Matthias Fishback messaging through there. See you in the chat, Matthias. And doing well, thank you. Back up in the front here, we've got Cars in Ostroza cranking away. Very high wattage on this climb now. 5.8 cent. There, he's lost the wheel. He's got a gap of 35 meters to Inostroza there. Taylor closing down. Press small group. Yeah, 
Taylor Kennedy rolling through. Stuart Ludlow. Looking like you're going to do the same here. Is Bankers faded slightly or is he finding these weights are very hard to carry up these steep, steep inclines? Camera down to the floor there and you can see how severe this is now at 20%. Just looking at the sky as we're going up this incline. The usher there. Get back to the wheel. Bankress. Underground world. and managed to make it back to the wheel of Chris Bankers there but Chris just finding that flatter ground and he's trying to close down on those riders that passed him on that climb already they've opened up a big gap 100 meters plus Stuart Ludlow PRT Taylor Kennedy and then still 130 meters plus out front we've got the rider in Ostrosa. Chris there, managing to reel back in Stuart Ludlow. Looking at the power of Strozo here and I'm thinking to myself that they may not have ma managed to set their handicap weight correctly. Um, most of the time I'm clocking their watts per kilogram, it's up at 3.6. Shouldn't realistically be over 3.2 as an average but um, most of the time that they are over that they've they've got their weight for the handicap race set incorrectly um,
Chris now powering away from Stuart Ludlow. Kennedy and Taylor. These are actually working together against each other. Kennedy pushing up on this climb now. Opening a bit of a gap on Taylor. Dropping back through the group, we've got uh, Enostrozo still leading at the front of this race, is 400, 350 meters clear of the next rider. Then we've Taylor, he's 86 meters clear of Kennedy, and Stuart Ludlow and Chris Bankress in a little bit of a battle here. Fourth and fifth on the road. Then we've Guy Hepner. Earlier on, we've got Guy Hapner, Murray Willisher, Cox, Sutherland, all close together in this grouping. Langridge, closed down by Anton Wooters. Strong, well clear of the next nearest rider, Matt Jones, but like he's going to be able to close the gap to Wooters. Mark Jones with a big group chasing down here. Huge block. Duve, Lang, Unsworth and Gomez. Trying to catch up to Mark Jones here. It's 
small section of sanding. Thank <laughs> you. 